first by Precept Consultant Megan Hudson. Today we're going to take a look inside of the fourth edition of the Math 4 Textbook Kit. We're going to look at the Student Work Text and the Teacher Edition. We are also going to look at the Student Activities and the Answer Key for that. We are also going to look at the Student Manipulative Packet and also the Student Assessments and Answer Key. So join me as we look inside of these books. So this is the Math 4 Teacher Edition book. In this book, I'm going to find my lessons to teach my child each day. This book starts out with a table of contents. Some of the topics we're going to be discussing in Math 4 include addition and subtraction of whole numbers, fractions, multiplication and division, decimals, geometry skills like plane figures and three-dimensional figures, and even some pre-algebra skills. The book at the beginning also gives some information about what you're going to find in this textbook kit. I would like to point out these online resources. Sometimes throughout this book you're going to see this link, teachertoolsonline.com, and it might ask you to find a resource there for you to pull off and use to teach the lesson for the day. Instead of going to teachertoolsonline.com, homeschool parents are actually going to find these resources on the homeschool hub. So anytime you see this web link, just think to yourself, I need to go to the Homeschool Hub to find those extra resources. This page shows how a lesson is laid out in this book. So if you are ever not sure where to find something, the Lesson Features page may give you an idea of where to find those resources. And then we start the Lesson Plan Overview. Each chapter has a page in this lesson plan overview and it's going to give a more detailed look of what the chapter is covering. It's also going to list your lesson number and your work text page and activity pages for your student to complete and it's going to give objectives for each lesson. You may notice that each chapter has a STEAM activity page. Each chapter is going to bring some sort of real life experience or real life situation in the form of a STEAM worksheet or STEAM project, and you're going to have those at the end of each chapter. So that's the end of the lesson plan overview. This would actually be the beginning of chapter one, but I'm going to jump ahead to chapter eight. Each chapter is going to begin with a story about Captain Bailey and Clipper. Clipper is his seagull. Captain Bailey and Clipper will be introducing each topic that you will be discussing in the chapter, and they might periodically make their way into a little story within the chapter to bring another new concept to that day's lesson. So each chapter is going to have a quick reminder of what you're going to be covering in the chapter. It might also give you a materials list so that you can get that ready to go before you begin the new chapter with your student. And again, here's a note about the teachertoolsonline.com. So again, remember, you're going to the homeschool hub to find those resources. I'm going to jump ahead to lesson number 86. At the top, it also lists which pages I'm assigning for my child to do in the work text and in the activity book. I also have my objectives and resources for the day. I do notice in teacher resources, I need division grids. I will show you where those are in just a minute. Each lesson is going to start with a practice and review section to remember what you've done in previous lessons. And then you will have this teach for understanding section, and that's going to be your lesson for the day. I also have the student work text pages embedded into my lesson, so I have the answer key right there as we're working through some of the problems. I'm going to jump ahead now. This chapter STEAM page is called Saving for Camp, and students will be creating a budget sheet to figure out how to save money to go to summer camp. I'm going to flip back to chapter 7. The STEAM activity in chapter 7 was to create a polygon art picture. And I'm gonna show you where the templates are to create those polygon art pictures in just a moment as well. These pages back here are some of the resource pages you would need for a lesson. You are able to make copies of these. 
and use them with your student during the lesson. Flipped ahead to where the division grids were, so we needed these for lesson number 86. So I would make copies of these to use during my lesson. That polygon arc page, the templates are also listed back here, so you would be able to make copies of these as needed to help your child make those polygon art pictures. I also have my STEAM activity from Chapter 8, which was my budget sheet for saving for camp. Flipping forward a little bit more, I find the answer keys for some of these resources at the back of the book. And then I also have my index at the end of the book for where to find specific topics throughout this year. And then that finishes up my teacher edition for Math 4. So this is the Math 4 work text. This is where your student will be going to do their assignment for each day. This is an easy tear binding, so you could pull these pages out if you wanted to, and then put the pages into a notebook since it's already hole punched for you. I'm going to jump ahead to chapter 8, which is what we were looking at in the teacher edition book. So the STEAM pages are actually going to be like the cover page for each of the chapters. So this was the saving for summer camp page, and there is the budget sheet that you would need to complete that activity. And then from there, it's going to start the pages for chapter 8. We looked at lesson number 86, so this would be the corresponding lesson pages in the work text for the student to complete for lesson 86. I also really like how when they introduce the long division, they use these grids so that all of the numbers line up for the student. It makes doing division so much easier than trying to use blank sheets of paper or just lined notebook paper. Each chapter also does end with a review page, so they can review everything they've covered in this chapter before taking the chapter test in the assessment packet. So this will be the review for chapter eight. And that's the work text. So this is where their worksheets are for the day. This is the activities book. If your child didn't quite master the concept by doing the problems in the work text, the activities pages would provide additional practice problems. So I'm going to flip through chapter 8, which is what we were looking at in the work text, and also by looking at lesson 86 in the teacher edition. So these are the corresponding pages to that chapter 8. So it's going to just provide more practice in what you are working on for the day. Each chapter in the activity book does end with another chapter review. And then it also has a cumulative review to review concepts you've done previously in Math 4. So this is the activity book. This is the activities answer key. So this is where you would go to check your answers for the student activity book, so the review book. And it will give you the answers for that. So this is the activities answer key. This is the student manipulative packet. At the beginning of the packet on the front cover, there are instructions for how to break this entire packet apart and sort it out in a way that you would be able to quickly access what you need when you are teaching a lesson. Everything is printed out on cardstock and it is pre-punched, so you just have to finish pushing the pieces out of it and then sort it out into containers or into baggies, however you choose to keep these materials sorted. We got some fraction bars at the back. We also have some fraction circles. And we have some conversion cards, little flashcards that you can use to practice those conversions, as well as our multiplication or division flashcards, the triangle flashcards, to practice our fact families. 
and that finishes out our packet. So this is the student manipulative packet for Math 4. The final item in your fourth edition Math 4 textbook kit is the assessment packet and the answer keys to those assessments. In this packet, there is one test for the end of each chapter in Math 4, and then you would use the answer keys to grade those assessments when your student is finished taking that test. If you have any questions about any of these materials, please feel free to reach out to your local Homeworks by Precept consultant. We would love to answer your questions. Thanks for joining me today as we looked inside of the fourth edition Math 4 textbook kit. Oh.